More than 50 students protested inside the building, where over the weekend the racist, threatening graffiti was found in the men's bathroom. Here's just some of what that graffiti read, the part we can say on TV. We are done. Uh, enough is enough. Time to fight back. We won't listen or something in, in anymore. Stop the Democrats, MAGA. And then another uh, writing on the window said, kill them all. Johnny Watts says he was the student who found the graffiti and took the pictures. I don't know. It, it hurt deep down. But then I'm not, I'm not the type to show like stuff on the outside. So I just had to, like, it hurt, so I had to bring it up to somebody else. And then it's like something that's so uncommon around the school campus, because I've never seen it on campus before. But students here say it's not just the racial graffiti that concerns them. A death threat was issued, especially on school campuses with this climate of uh, killings, murders, massacres happening on school campuses. We were concerned that we weren't notified earlier. They say that anytime anything concerning or hazardous happens on campus, the students and faculty receive a text alerting them of what occurred. He says in this case, it took the school two days to notify them. Like this was that same type of issue was a safety concern. Uh, lives were threatened from the people who we talked to. They found out by word of us from our social media platforms and from word of mouth. It was reported to our Las Vegas Police Department and our operations department. They, all our PD came out and took a report. Um, they then talked to operations who went in and cleaned up the space. Caitlin McGregor with the City College says the administration only found out about this incident this morning and admits they have to work on getting this information out to students faster. I think that's a really important point and we're really glad they brought it up because I think it's something that we can talk about and work on addressing and getting that information um, all the way up to our administration faster and also getting in turn getting that information back out to the students faster. She says the case is open and they're encouraging students who may have seen or heard something to come forward. We're really just kind of reaffirming our commitment to saying that this is a place that you know should never have any hate speech on it. So Mady Gomez, ABC 10 News.